Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new episode on my journey to challenge. And in this one, we're sitting on Masters 50 LP. Obviously, you know, we were at 0p an episode ago. We ended up coming back, getting three wins in a row, playing talent, playing that feeling good, playing good, and we're back at 50. So for this episode, the goal is to try and get another 50 LP roughly, past the 100 mark, and then feel, you know, a little bit more, I guess, comfortable with where we're at. So my voice, you can tell, is a little bit uh, dead. It's a little bit gone because this whole weekend I was out, you know, Vorboy visited Toronto. We had events. I was playing in the tourney, the finals, which we did end up winning. So we ended up winning the whole tournament, which is cool. Get, you know, we got first place. Uh, but yeah, so now I'm back. My voice is a little bit dead, but you know what? We'll see what we can do. So if you enjoyed this episode, regardless, guys, definitely hit that like button. But let's get this party started. Let's go. All right, guys, game number one is about to begin. For this one, we're playing Zed in the mid lane against what looks to be a Yasuo. So let's get this party started. They have a Jin, which, I mean, as a Zed player, I love facing Jin's because he gives the most potential AD from my ultimate. And yeah. I want to win. I want to get back to 100 LP, guys, because I don't know, man. Yo, I don't want to. I don't want to get closer to zero LP anymore, man. Being at zero LP last episode was, whew, that was scary, boys. That was scary. So let's get this party started. Let's win. Let's focus. Let's play well. Let's go. Dude, that Yasuo, man, he got feisty as hell. He went for early armor boots, so it's like honestly kind of hard for me to face him because Yasuo is just really good at this part of the game against the Zed. And with armor boots early, man, yeah, that's just honestly kind of hard to deal with. I can the Aussie before I die, so hopefully they can get some plays. Hey, baby, let's go. Kill their ass. Hey! Nice. Pretty worth, pretty worth. I'll take that shit any day of the week. Let's go. The Jinx all coming in, getting a nice kill. I couldn't really ult anyone else there. Because <coughs> whoever I ult, the Alistair will be there in time to... Uh, if I don't ult anyone, I have no W to escape from Yasuo. He'll just wail away at me. And I have to just keep running. Because I pretty much have to avoid Alistair. Because Alistair gives Yasuo the free ult. Dude, this Graves is actually a fucking man. So since this game is full AD versus full AD, that means I can't go for like the typical build. So what I'm gonna have to do is go for Black Cleaver next item, and then maybe straight into Last Whisper. We'll see. But you can't go Lethality this game. Lethality is gonna be super, super garbage this game. It's gonna be an absolute awful stat. So I can't go for Lethality. I'm gonna go bot now. So, uh, wait, I actually cannot duel him. Like it's literally impossible for me to duel him. What the fuck? Luckily, I don't have to do anything because my team is winning hard. Okay, good. Alistair was behind the uh, the Yasuo there. I need to get my Black Cleaver ASAP if I'm gonna duel this Yasuo at all. Cause like, with the armor boots, and with the Blade of the Rune King, like, he's just stronger than I am right now. My, my dust fit is utterly useless right now. Nice little, you know, in the back playing around with him a little bit there. I also kind of actually messed him up. Uh, or whoever hit the blast plan fucked themselves over, I think. I think they actually may have had a kill on me. Or at least they could have put a lot of pressure on me there. If they did hit the blast plan, but they did. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to push in this top. I want to make sure that these uh, Baron minions get... Uh, well, I mean, I want to make sure that the Baron buff actually goes on the minions ASAP. So you walk back. So you can get to the minions faster, so the minions come back, come to the tower faster. A lot of people don't do this. Pretty important thing to remember to do, actually. So now my build, honestly, at this point in the game, my build is complete. Like, literally, a 23-minute build completed already. Because, like, I don't need any more items. Like, I mean, obviously, I want to get more items. It's not like I'm not going to. But in terms of the matchups that we're currently playing, and, you know, how people are going to be stacking armor and whatnot, which, which actually, the Jinx... Wait, the Jin didn't get armor boots. Okay, honestly, like, I, I kind of troll. I mean, I'm gonna go this guy's stuff. So. 
Woo, give me out, boys. Oh, he flashes. Wait, wait a minute. Kill his ass, baby. Huh? One more Q, baby. Oh, he's that beautiful. Give me that says Nice. GG's. All right, pretty clean game, honestly. Um, That game, it looks like I did a lot of work, but... uh. I kind of didn't. I, I really just worked off of my team. Like I, I, I didn't I couldn't fight the Yasuo because he went for armor boots literally first item. Like literally before he finished anything. After his Doran's Blade, he went straight for armor boots. And that made it hard for me to fight him because I went for Dust Blade, which his his choice was not only like half the price, if not even a third of the price. And it was more effective, so that, which kind of sucks. So I couldn't fight him at all for so long, but I mean, whatever. All right, guys, game number two is about to begin for this one. Playing Zed again for, or in the mid lane rather, facing, it looks like it be Irelia mid. Now... I, I honestly don't like facing Irelia. I think the champion is super fucking annoying to face. Uh, the champion just does a lot of damage, doesn't take a lot of damage, has a billion dashes, has a stun, just, I don't know, just honestly really, really obnoxious to face, but um, feeling pretty good about this one. We have a lot of good players on our team, apparently. Uh, same jungler, this guy's, I mean, he's a jungler main, but he's playing top, he's a good player. I mean, I've seen his name before. I think I know who that is, but I don't know for sure. Uh, this guy's like an ADC smurf or something, so... I mean, we got some pretty uh, pretty good players. Of course, myself being the numero uno player on the team, without question, in my mind whatsoever. Uh, yeah, let's get this party started, guys. Let's go. Let's win. Bro, how the fuck do you face Irelia? Like, I actually generally don't understand how you, how you face the champion. It, it feels like she just wins. I don't know if the Shannon flashed, I don't know if his dash was ready, I don't really know what was going on there, so I ended up just flashing for the kill, just to make sure I get the kill 100% and I can be, uh, you know, kind of safe with that. But I pushed out the mid lane uh, wave, and Aurelia wasn't pushing it further, so I just I just saw a good opportunity to roam based on how the waves were, like, you know, positioned mid lane, so I ended up going bot. Got a free roam, and I shouldn't even miss too much mid lane, I'm still the same CS. Holy fucking shit. Ah, uh, his ult actually messed me up. I'm, I just want the cannon, please. Thank you. This Evelyn is like trying to- she's, she's on my case, man. She's on my case. She wants to kill me in? I just want the cannon minion. That's all I'm asking for, bro. Not, nothing not, nothing more, nothing less. Just, I just want the cannon and I want it back. That's all I want to do. So please, have some mercy. Once Shen gets level 6, it'll make things a little bit more difficult. Okay, the Evelyn is pretty low, so she obviously can't go for me, so I think I should be able to push in this wave. If she comes for me, I should be fine, though. Just, the champion is actually fucking terrifying, dude. I gotta reset ASAP. I gotta reset before this mid lane gets pushed in again. Now, they ended up doing a ball lane dive, and they actually got both of them without anyone dying, which is really strange. The Kai'Sa saw their ultimate, so... I don't see why she wouldn't use her ultimate to try and save herself, to get, you know, get the shield, just a whole bunch of stuff. Unless she died within the duration of a Shen taunt, which is possible? Though unlikely? I mean, it's actually possible. She could have been taunted, then charmed by the Yevelyn, and then she's permanently seed until she dies. But then Tom Kench could have ate her. I don't know. Huh. Ah, oh, I should've slept, fuck. Oh, uh, dude, they keep dying, man. Like, I don't know, like, before shit even happens, they just keep dying. I, I'm pretty sure we win this late, like, really hard, though. That's still thing. I'm pretty sure we win this late, for sure. So there, I killed the Lowe together with the team, and then I tried my best to just stall as long as I can. Oh. 
Okay. Dude, get the fuck off of me, man. <laughs> no, but their comp is like infinitely better. Like they're all impossible to kill. Like they're all really, really hard to kill. They all have ways to stop my ultimate, for instance, or you know, just be really annoying to kill. They're all really tanky, yet they all still do a lot of damage. Their team is literally just essentially five fucking bruisers put into one team. Bro, they, they don't take fucking damage, bro. Wait, they literally don't take damage. Dude! <laughs> Fuck! Look at this Aurelia bullshit! Okay, get her, get her, get her, get her, Kaisa. Dude, I, I feel so bad for Kaisa, seriously. The whole fucking squad is on this guy, dude. Bro, their their team is just it's it's monkey proof. It's a monkey proof team. It really is. Like I actually feel bad for this guy too. Like she, she's she's literally her full build, and they don't have any Amar. Like this is like their only Amar item in the entire game, except for obviously some Shen, like you know a locket. But no one has an actual Amar item except for this one single thing. It's not even a full Amar item. Like, even Kaisa, that's full AP build. Like you know the normal AP Kaisa build cannot kill them. Because their team is full of just absolutely just unkilled monkeys, dude. That's actually insane. Damn, that, that that's rough, man. That's rough. That is that's just like that's literally League of Legends in a nutshell. Five fucking just just throwing five bruisers that are just monkey proof that just don't die but still do, do damage like like Laue. Swain. Alright guys, game number three is about to begin for this one. We got autofill to support. But as you guys know, I don't really mind playing support as long as I get Pike, because I generally believe my Pike is actually like pretty damn good. Um and yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and win this one. I wanted to play Zed only this episode, but obviously I can't play Zed support. That's a little troll, so it's not gonna work out. There's no reason to invade if we're not all coming. Um but yeah, since I obviously got support, I can't play Zed, but you know, going back to the Zed boys, going back to the Zed mainly now, so feeling pretty good on him. I don't know what it is. It's just sometimes I have bad like sessions on Zed, then sometimes I have good ones and bad ones and good ones, bad ones, good ones. I'm just I'm really sad we lost last game. I actually feel like that game was just so incredibly hard to win because I had literally no one to R. I, I can't R anyone, so Don't want to die, please. I want to live. Beautiful. Beautiful lag. Beautiful lag. Purposely go to the side, get the E. Only hit one of them, but it's not too bad, anyways. Woo! My pike, babe. I'm telling you, shit's clean. Shit is clean. Let's go. Yeah, take that back. Never mind. I mean, they're going for me. God, the fucking eggs back up. Are you serious? I'm not doing anything. Eh, I want to help, but I fucking don't do anything. Oh, there it is. There's that fatty stun, baby. Woo! Apparently I'm minting as well, whatever. Ha! <laughs> my Q pulled them too far back. 
I don't know, man. The issue with this game is like, I'll, there's there's so many times where the Singer would die, like right before an objective comes up. Pretty much, pretty much every single dragon right before he came up, the Singer would die because I, I I don't know if he's trying just really desperately to be a hero and get like a massive pick to get us the objective or what. But he died every single time, and every single time we lost an objective. Alright guys, that's me on the episode. Yeah, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little upset after that last game. Uh, that Syndra just, oof, man. Like, in team fights he played alright, but the, the problem is the fact that he just died before, like, half the team fights even could begin. And we lost objective, after objective, after objective. And I was stupid enough to die half of those times with him, because I'm always around him, I'm like, trying to help him, I'm trying to, you know, be close to him, because I see him get caught. I'm like, okay, maybe I can help him out, maybe I can save him or something, and I just end up getting caught right after he dies, so... A little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is, guys. But thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, regardless, then definitely hit that like button. Hopefully, the next episode will be a little bit better. Um, second game was pretty rough as well. They just had... Man, their comp was actually a brain-dead monkey, unkillable. Just turn off... Just just turn your brain off and just go forward kind of comp. And it was so hard to kill anyone in that comp. It was ins like actually an insane comp. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will uh, hopefully see you for the next episode. So until then, have a great day. Right.